A lot of people these days are worrying about the H1N1 or swine flu, and you may be wondering, should I be wearing a flu mask? Well, we thought we'd do a little research and find out more about that. So, Leah, we have a few masks here, I see. First of all, should everyone be wearing a flu mask? Um, well, the experts that we talk to say no. If there's an outbreak in your area or somebody in your house has the flu, then you might want to consider wearing one, but otherwise it's not necessary at this point. So suppose I want to prepare for one of those scenarios that you just described. Uh, what kind of mask should I buy and how do they work? Um, you want to look for an N95 mask. You can get them at pharmacies or hardware stores. And um, it'll say N95 on the box and it even says it right here on the mask. Okay. And how do I use it? Um, well, you want to, um, a close fit is important. So you want to put both straps around your head. Okay. And kind of place it over. It's really important. It has to be over your nose and your mouth to be effective. And you want to get that metal part and just kind of mold it into the bridge of your nose and just kind of feel around and make sure the edges are tight to your skin. You want it to, to mold right into your, into your face. You know, it's not really that comfortable. That is important because that means it's working. And it, it can also be a little harder to breathe when you wear that. So that means it's working. And what about those other kinds of masks that uh, they look like surgical masks like a doctor would wear? What about those? Well, they, they can work. Um, they're a lot cheaper and they're more comfortable, but they're looser on your face. So uh, they're more disposable type things because once you breathe in them and they get damp, you have to throw them out. And they're, they probably let some things in. Um, they're more geared to keep an infection from, from spreading out. I guess bottom line is, do these masks really work? Will they protect you from catching the flu? Well, um, research is kind of still trying to figure that out um, as far as using them in public settings, so it's hard to say. Um, the experts we talk to, though, they think that wearing these, if there is an outbreak in your area, will add another layer of protection. Okay, and in any case, you still need to make sure that you wash your hands frequently. Washing your hands frequently, keeping your hands away from your face, um, and staying away from crowded areas because when somebody talks, coughs, or sneezes, it usually can only travel three to six feet, so staying out of crowded areas is a no-brainer. Okay, sounds good. And what about this gorilla mask? Will this help? No, that won't help you at all. That's what you think. For more news and information about healthy living on a healthy planet, go to rodel.com.